it, it is and always has been very important to us that Special Olympics in Rio Rancho happen. We got started because of our son, Joseph. Got into it when he was nine years old. The team was just starting here in Rio Rancho. He got a lot of friends that accepted him for how he was, um, and he was able to do sports. We saw the need of coaches, and like I said, Mike jumped in right away and started coaching, and we would pull parents in as coaches, um, and that's basically how we got started. Initially, it, the, the payoff is the personal growth in my own son. Um, the fact that he, he developed a social personality because of Special Olympics. And we've always told him, just do your best. We've always told our son, just That's, do the best you can do. And then things started to snowball, and pretty quick, you know, we're at 30 athletes, and then we're at 50 athletes, and then we're at 80 athletes, and we're, we're dragging anybody in saying, you know, come on, you're going to be a coach. You know? <laughs> well, we've tried from the very beginning to make this a family affair. Rio Rancho has some of the best families that participate and support this team. But look at us now. You know, our, the Rio Rancho Rockets is one of the best teams in the state. Of course, I'm sure everybody says that about their own team. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an opportunity to serve a, a, a population that really doesn't get the same breaks as everybody else. I, it's, it's just the kids. That's, that, I think that's what's kept us there all this time, is these kids are just, they're just great. We, we like being around them. I think it just becomes a part of your life and, and to is. where you don't think about it in terms of this is a volunteer situation for me. This, this is just my life. You know, I get up and go to work and then I have golf practice tonight or I have bocce practice or I have, it's just another part of your day.